de facto, pterodactyl When I'm micro and macro my mind Why would I try to hide the fact that I'm Jack To be actually naturally high And I'm that guy with the flashlight Looking back at the track with the black light How about this, how about that Pay attention to wax, you're free to see what All right, again, Ian Anderson, Central Coast Disc Golf. We're back with some more 2017 Iceland Solstice Showdown. Again, joining me, the one and only Nate Sexton. Say what's up, Nate. Hey, everybody. There he is. We're flying around Reykjavik. Cool looking town. Oh, yeah, the best. I mean, I, I really hope that I can just at least, if I can get a flight that has a layover in Iceland, man, I'm getting out of that airport and checking that place out. Or right. Hopefully, I can come play this tournament someday. Yeah, it looks like a really fun tournament, and uh, I'm I'll, I'll, I know all the guys had a great time. Peter was just raving about all the, you know, all the hangouts and all the parties with the guys, and said they just treated them so well. Really cool to see. That's awesome. Yeah, and a beautiful country with a lot of fun sights to see. Uh, we're going into the last nine holes of round three. There also is a final nine coming up after this, so make sure you check that out. And we're starting off on hole ten, par three, four hundred feet, and I believe this one actually is reachable there's no mando um it's kind of similar to a, another hole we played a couple holes ago it's downhill with ob behind um but oh, nice. but these big arms can definitely reach it oh yeah they'd be going after it even if it was uphill at 400 feet they got plenty of room for that yep indeed that uh, looks like greg has the box he's held on to that for quite a bit here might be a little wide see if it gets back Wow. Greg. Man, in the air, that did not look like it was heading towards any baskets. Right. But clearly, it was heading towards the right one. Yep. Barsby knows what's up. Uh, Nico with a little bit higher hyzer. He's got a little little bit more backhand power than Greg, it seems like. Yeah, he might. It's it's probably pretty close. But, yeah, Nico might have the edge. Yeah. Philo? Looking good. Yeah, that is, whoa, right oh. under the basket. Wow. A little bit of a skip away. Yeah. Sure he's hoping that that nestled harder than it did, but still make a little putt. See if uh, Tony can keep up with the big arm Americans. I, like that. I think he's got this. I think you're right. Oh, he's got plenty. Whoa. Oh, he's gone out of bounds oh. and crushed it so big. <laughs> he's got too much. Dang. That was that was pretty ace ready right there. Oh shoot. Disappointing. Yeah. He's gonna be taking a bogey. Oh, Nico. I did not catch that going so deep into the woods there. He'd probably be getting pretty sick of that if he wasn't sitting on an eight stroke lead. <laughs> I bet you're right, sir. Oh, Philo with a great comeback putt for two there. Uh Tony's gonna clean up the four. He's a great putter. Yeah. Came back after the miss. Uh, Barsby. What a drive. Yeah. And Nico will be cleaning up the par. Uh, but Greg gets a, gets a stroke on him, taking that lead down to seven, I believe. Which, you know, not out of the realm of catching him with, you know, seven. Yeah, with the final nine still there. I mean, the guy can dream for sure. Yeah. There is that seven stroke lead for Nico. Uh, Tony and Philo battling it out for third, with Philo currently in the lead. Hole 11 is coming up, par 3, 278. Let's see if I can remember where we're going on this one. Oh, it's just right there. Nice. Yeah, but again, a very guarded green, Nate. Gotta yeah, really it. well guarded. Mm -hmm. Kind of want to go straight on line, long or short. Barsby has the box, as is tradition. Perfect. Wow. Oh, my goodness. He's dialed in. Philo? Yes, sir. Nope. Uh oh. Yeah, that's going to be tricky. Yeah. He's a tall guy. He can straddle out a ways, at least. Maybe he can find himself in line. This is true. Nico probably going Firebird if I had to throw a guess out there 
And that's right behind the bushes, as Nico has has kind of had a habit of doing lately. It, it, it seems like it, huh? Tony looks to be also lining up a hyzer. Looks like that's going left as well. It's a popular spot over there, Nate. Yeah. Yeah. Could be a little bit of wind or, you know, who knows. No, true. See if Tony can find a window through here. Titanium oh. branch. No. Uh, for a little bit. Oh, he's going with the forehand. Huh. D does your forehand driving skill translate to forehand putting, Nate? Not at all. <laughs> <laughs> I hate it. I mean, a forehand from that short, Yeah. maybe 5% chance. <laughs> 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 so, hard. so hard to throw it soft enough. Isn't it? Yeah, it's just... Look at this. Oh, he split it. Yeah, right through there. That's beautiful. Well done, Philo. Only one of the three to get a birdie from that side. Oh, Greg's getting back with that left hand again. He is. I think you're right about the arm. I gotta think there's something going on. There's no way he wouldn't have tried one forehand yet. Yeah, yeah, you're right. He was kind of holding his arm a little, a little gingerly. It looked like. Yeah. Yeah. His forehand is straight beast. He'd be using it if he could. Uh, we got hole 12, par three, 288. Uh, it's dead straight little right finish. I remember a couple years ago, Greg got hurt at Worlds. I overheard him talking to, to Avery. And Avery's like, Greg, what happened, man? He's like, million throws. <laughs> Just hit that million throw mark. <laughs> yeah. Ran out of warranty. Yep. yep. Something snapped. That's yep. how it always is. The yep. day after you get to a million. <laughs> Greg, it's got that backhand working, though. That green disc, whatever it is. Yeah. Philo? Ooh. Nice shot. Yeah, that looked that looked a lot closer from the A cam, didn't it? Yeah, it did. It looked like it was going right past the band. <laughs> totally agree. Nico smashing a big old hyzer up there. Which is what he'll do if you let him. And there's not much stopping you out here on this course. No, there really if, isn't. If there's not a Mando, I mean you pretty much pick your line, whatever you're looking for. Mm -hmm. Let's you kind of be creative and uh and use the, the, the different spins to fight the wind in different ways, I would think. All right. Nice throw from Tony. Definitely. Barsby coming back for the two. He's charging a little bit. He kind of is, isn't he? He's playing really well despite the, that, the forehand handicap. Tony makes another good putt. I believe Nico's up on this mound, yeah. Nice putt. What are you feeling on knee putts from eleva elevation? Do, do you go to the knee or do you just continue standing? Downhill? Yeah. Uh, probably not. Okay. I mean, I can understand someone doing it, but uh, but no, uh, unless it's like super severe. Uh huh. Then then maybe, but even still, unlikely. It's kind of just worse balance. I feel like you know when you're already on a steep hill, you need to make sure you get that getting that solid base. I uh, totally agree. I, I seem to see Paige Pierce do it a lot randomly yeah she's good at that she does like to do that yeah. I don't know. it's all preference yeah which, whatever you practice too uh hold 13 is on deck par 3 269 uh, you got it right there you got ob outside those stakes and again another guarded green this one you want to go long but not too long so you don't go ob i i think i saw an icelandic mando barrel too oh did you oh, i bet you're right oh uh on point nate wow that's gonna cut oh. it close though did he? He either missed the man. I mean, either way, he's out of bounds now, but that yeah. may have missed the man down. Yeah, it was very close. I would guarantee a forehand from him if he was able. Right? Yeah, it looks like Philo's going DX Rock, it looks like. Okay. That looks nice. Yeah, pin high right. And with a clean putt, which is not always the case. Nico, wow, throwing a turnover flex. This is so tough with with a hole like this, uh, and the Mando pole only being like twelve feet tall. Uh -huh. Such a tough judgment call for a shot like Greg's. That's uh, that's kind of cutting it close because mm -hmm. you know most shots are going to be flying higher than the top of that pole. Yeah, especially when you're throwing Annie's, right? Yeah. Oh, there is Greg's third. Hopefully that sat in bounds. Looks good. Yeah, I think so. 
Hopefully he can make that comebacker for the four. Uh, we got Tony from the left-hand side of the fairway. To the right-hand side. <laughs> yeah. yeah. Uh, here's Greg's bid for a four. Uh, wow, and that's going to be Greg's second double bogey of the nice. round. I mean, he's had a lot of birdies, but it doesn't. It, you need a lot of birdies to absorb two of those. Yeah, you do, especially with Nico playing how he has been. Oh, oh, that was that was unphilo. Oh, geez, putting disease has struck oh. the group. Oh my goodness, what happened? Terrible affliction. Everybody has has caught it now. Dang, that was a quite the quick attack too. Everyone yeah, was putting so well, <laughs> they all fell apart. There's Greg cleaning up the five. That one hurts when you're trying to chase that guy uh, who cleans up his par. Four and a five. Uh, Nico and Philo escaping with pars. Uh, For a hole that really didn't look that tough, that one really uh, showed its teeth. So it maybe it's a little harder than it appears on video. Yeah. I guess the Mando and the, and the OB can kind of maybe get in your head a little bit there. Definitely. I believe we saw a Mando there. You got to go right of. Oh, my goodness. This one is a very hard hole. Bar. You got double Mando right here as well. Then you got to go throw up. Make it stick before it goes down the hill and an elevated basket, Nate. Wow. Yeah. And this is the longest distance we've seen so far, too. Yep. We're going to... Oh. believe that made the Mando. Um, nice. First round, Nico drove long OB. Second round, he drove short OB. Hopefully, he can have the, uh, the Goldilocks throw right here. I bet he will. Yeah. He's getting it dialed in. Ooh, pushing that oh. long edge. Apps. That looks close, but I I didn't see this, the the graphic, so I think he's okay. A little more height here, going to control the distance. Mm -hmm. Looks like he found the middle. He did. Perfect drive from Tony. And Greg, hoping to come back from that double. That's another tough judgment call on that uh that Mando Nate. Yeah. Super, super difficult. Yeah. Now looking at Tony's second shot. Gonna try and make this double Mando. That needs to get right. It did not. So you have to go between. Yeah. <laughs> like But not below anything. Just between. Yeah, exactly. Yeah, it's just two. It's not a triple. Oh, this is tough. Yeah. I think uh, this is definitely the hardest hole in the course. Yeah, because not only is it longer than the other par fours, but way more technical. Mm -hmm. Look at that shot. Wow. Philo. That is tough to match. Nico's going to try, though. Goodness. Looks like he made the Mando, but then hit a tree. Yep. Oh, going to have to be settling for par. Uh, this is going to be Tony throwing four. Just running oh. it from there. <laughs> he was, wasn't he? <laughs> Man without a care in the world. I think Nico, not one to be left behind, also ran yeah. it. Greg going to join the club. I think he did. I think he tried. Nice. Wow. The little horseshoe putt. Uh-huh. That was really well done. This bush is really annoying. <laughs> After you, you run that putt, you don't even really know it's there, <laughs> and then all of a sudden it's in there. Got another fun stance, but Tony converts very well. Nico gonna try and match. Yep. Up that up shot. Nico with the par. Greg with the par. I believe Tony got a a five. And a Philo. Was that close? Yeah, it was a beautiful shot. Oh my goodness. That's that's the first person I think has Carter to bring in this hole in, uh, in three rounds. Yeah, well done, Philo. Uh, he's separating from Tony and actually getting pretty close to Greg here. Only two strokes back. Uh, hole 15 is coming up, guys. Par 3, 337. Oh, my. I actually think this is probably the hardest birdie on the course. What? Watch where we're going here, Nate. Down the tunnel. Mando right there. Mando which way? You got to go right of it. Okay. And then basket tucked way down in here. Wow. 
and I believe there's another Mando you have to go left of too, so it kind of takes out the hyzer line. Oh man! So we'll see what they do. And there so is just out. So you basically just have to gut it all the way up there. Yeah, which that's such a straight finish to be nearly impossible. All right. Nico's gonna try. And uh, I don't think you're losing strokes with the par to really anyone on here, so it, it might even behoove you to play for that. Yeah, totally. Well, this is heading the wrong side of the Mando. It is. I believe Greg threw one of his eagles there, and it just did not get that eagle turn on it. I wonder if you could just kind of go like more of an overstable flex since there's no height restriction. And just like... Oh! Know, yeah. Kind of go. It must be harder. It must be really tough. I, I, and I don't really quite see where the other Mando is, but you could go you know just up and over between the mandos and sort of take the bushes out of play perhaps i don't know mm -hmm. actually i think it's just to the right of this mando that's on the left like it's just just to the Super right tiny. yeah just to philo's right here yeah that would make it tough uh, philo just lays up for the par nico gonna do the same but I found a tree it around a little bit yeah he's good not not a gamey par he's got a putt coming up Tony. Yep. Greg's going for another big number. He is, isn't he? That's. He's already thrown. That's his four he's got shot. Another five. On deck, I think. Yeah, I think you're right. Oh, Tony, where'd your putt go? Oh, not this again. Oh, <laughs> what is going on? All right. If Nico misses this. Oh boy. Oh, he did. <laughs> there it is. That's par. Have you ever seen the putting yips so contagious? Oh man, I've seen it, but I don't like to think about it. Oh man, that was something right there. And that is, I believe, a six for Mr. Bursby. Unfortunately, Philo's gonna pass him. Oh, you're right. With a with a par, which it's a good good score on that hole. Look at that. That's a lot of red. Yeah, there he is. I'll a minus nine for the round. Really putting together a solid. Wow, really sneaky too. Uh, Nate, we do have an island green here though. A full six. Okay. Part three, uh, 229. Really placed the forehand with the, the slip of the green there. And you can lay up off to the left there, kind of USTGC style, but nobody does it. I love the rocks. Yeah, they're cool, aren't they? And uh, there is no, it's like, you don't get a penalty stroke if you miss, but you got to keep throwing until you make it. From from the tee. Yeah, exactly. So that's cool. Yeah, if you miss, you're just throwing two instead of three. Well, I was not even thinking about missing. That is perfect. Nope, he's thinking about his minus ten that he's about to have. Nico throwing a flex. Oh no, just Nanny. Oh, he missed. Yeah, I meant to throw a flex. Yeah, he did, didn't he? Tony. Throwing Nico's line just a little bit better. Ooh, is it long though? Looks like it stayed in. I think the rock saved in there. Barsby. Yikes. Oh no. Straight right. Gosh. Not having that forehand is really hurting him right now. Because you know he could just throw, chuck a firebird in there all day. Yeah, for sure. And Nico with his second shot should be able to salvage a par. And that was Greg. That might have been a forehand. Oh, I think you're right, actually. The way that landed. Mm -hmm. He might have said, turn the cameras off. <laughs> I'm going to throw a quick forehand, even though my doctor told me not to. Exactly. Good putt right there from Tony. Card into two. Nico, this will be for a par. Philo, an absolute drop in. Posterize this hole. And Greg got out with a uh, par as well, I believe. Yep, there it is. Uh, Philo separating from Greg. That's second place now. And now yeah. he's only eight back, Nico. Hole 17. Uh, par 4, 508. And as dead straight off the tee, you want to have it finished right. And then we're going 90 degrees right for a ways. And then 90 degrees right again. You're almost playing backwards. Oh. Um, yeah, it's a really interesting hole. Got OB if you go super long. Um, and then the basket is way tucked back in here up on the side and the 
the path is OB uh, where it's wow. chopped out. Yeah. Crazy. Interesting hole, right? Definitely. Yeah. Really, really cool design. Bars. Maybe Bars. like a mid range off the tee. Yeah. Yeah. It definitely feels like that. Although Philo should have dissed up or elevated it because. Yeah. Need, need to get over that berm to have a, a good shot. Oh, and your second. I think there's some wind going on here, Nate. I think so too. A little bit of right to left, kind of knocking down that Annie. Yeah. What Nico's got in store for us here. Just needs to get down. Okay. I think that was good. I think so too. Lefty again. <laughs> Not loving it. No, just need a little more on it, but it had the right shape to it. Second shot, still not in the best of locations. I think he got through it. Yeah, let's see if he gets all the way there, though. That's a negative. Yeah, but it's not terrible. No, not at all. This looks like a very tough shot. Yeah, I, I can't imagine Philo could get it there. Yeah, he's just playing smart golf. Yeah. Nico. Gonna try and throw a hyzer onto this green, which the slope does not favor that. Hopefully it sticks. I think he went, yeah, to that back side. Yeah. Should be putting. Mm -hmm. That was probably Greg, if I had to guess. Yeah, probably another forehand. <laughs> We got Philo looking at his third shot. The uh, Adidas stamp disc. You got any of those? Uh, no, I don't. I think it's just like a little mini stamp that they have at the factory. I think Philo got a bunch of his discs stamped that way once we got the, uh, uh -huh. when he was there. He has the advantage of living pretty close, so he can kind of go down there and peruse the factory a little more often than I do. For sure. Although, speaking of cool stamps, I saw you're, you're giving away a very cool Sexy Bird, Nate. Yeah, man. Look at that pirate ship in the background. Oh, whoa! Not to, uh, not to distract from my own giveaway, but <laughs> not often do you see a pirate ship sail through the course. <laughs> Accurate. How many of those uh, double stamp Sexy Birds exist? Um, I have all of them, and I would guess maybe like 75 or 80. Okay. I got. I had a bunch left on my allotment, and they were nice enough to do that for me. And it's it's just kind of like I didn't necessarily need any more throwers. Uh huh. And it's like an awesome thing to be able to have to give to family, friends, and like people who help me out on the road, whatever. It's just cool, you know. Oh, nice, man. It's super limited disc, and I can say thank you to my Instagram followers by giving away this first one uh, publicly. That's awesome, man. Really cool, yeah. I'm sure someone will be very stoked when they get that thing. Yeah. Uh, hole 18, part three, another double mando off the tee, and then you got to miss that, whatever whatever that is. I think it was a throne. It was like a big chair. Oh, you're right. I don't really know, but huh. look, look like it could have been a chair. Yeah, I buy that. Basket's just right there, and for a change, we've got a, a very open green. So, fire away. Yeah. Philo. Hmm, guessing Firebird. Is it hooking up? Yeah. Oh man, Philo! Great round. Yeah, absolutely. Yeah, he had a, a really rough start. I think he only shot two down the first round. Amazing. I mean, he's he's like sitting at this is round three, and he's like maybe sixteen under, and he's like eleven for the round. So <laughs> uh -huh. he definitely something went wrong those first two rounds because clearly he's got the potential to be way lower. He does. Oh, Tony, that just skipped just a little long there. Hopefully he can salvage a par at least. Nico Castro. Have you seen the Rose City Open from like 2009 on a, on Bullseye Nate? Um, I'm I probably played in it. Oh, you did, didn't you? Oh, I, I just love how uh, Steve says Nico Castro. <laughs> <laughs> Kills me every time. Yeah, I think I, I might have even been on that in that group. I think you were actually. Now that I, I bring it up funnily like that 
Uh, Tony's coming back for the par. Oh, Tony. We'll call that a headwind putt. Oh, boy. That one, too. Oh, yeah. Uh-huh. Agreed. Swirly winds. Swirly, <laughs> swirly winds out there. <laughs> a little bit of a dust double going on right there. Yep. yep. Nico makes a nice two. It'd be like a geothermal thing. You know how I Oh, yeah. This. That's right. I think that's how they get most of their power. Greg with a nonchalant drop in. Tony with a bogey. And Philo with a another birdie. Stacking them up this round. Yeah, really. Well done, Mr. Brathwaite. That was a fantastic round from him. He's got a second place. Uh, pretty well separated now. Three strokes yeah, over Greg. Ten strokes over Greg on the round. Oh, my over goodness. Greg. Incredible. Wow. Uh, Nico, a bit of an off round there with only a six down, but still holds on to eight strokes. And uh, that is all we got going until the final nine. We got Nico, Philo, Greg, and... Toad. Toad. Do you know who that is? Yeah. Oh, really? He's American. Oh, really? Oh, okay, cool. Right on. Well, that should be a fun final nine to watch. Uh, Nate, thanks so much for coming on, man. It's always always a pleasure. Yeah, thanks for having me. Hopefully, do some more with you guys soon. Yeah, we'll hit you up. All right, guys. Well, everybody, thanks for watching, and we'll catch you back for the final nine.